Dear students, in the previous video, we have gone through the diversity technique and we have gone through the basic classification. And in that case, there is a space diversity. And space diversity is also called antenna diversity. And here the diversity is attained by using multiple antennas at the base station or at mobile station or both multiple antennas at the base station and the mobile station. Okay. So here is a diagram. There will be a transmitter and there is a receiver. And the diversity is attained by using multiple antennas. Sometimes multiple antennas may be used at the receiver side or sometimes multiple antennas may be used at the transmitter side or sometimes multiple antennas may be used at the transmitter as well as receiver side. Based on that, different diversity is obtained. This system is called MISO system that is multiple input single output system and this is multiple input to multiple output system and this one is a single input to multiple output system and in all these cases we are achieving diversity that means we will be having an option to select from the received signal okay so uh, and in the case of basic requirement is that the antennas used at the transmitter or receiver side should be separated by several tenth of way length so then only the signals received at the different antenna should be highly decorrelated. So, um, for the diversity technique to apply, the receiver antenna should receiver should receive a signal, and uh, also we have to um, receive the signal with a different fading status. So, we have to identify the fading effect on the each of the received signal on each from the each of the channels, and for the fading effect to be decorrelated, we have to choose the separation between this antennas several tenth of wavelength of the signal. Okay. So the different classification of this uh, space diversity is selection diversity, feedback or scanning diversity. Next is maximal ratio combining, and this equal gain combining. Okay. Let's just see each one. First is selection diversity actually this is the simplest form of diversity technique selection diversity and its block diagram is shown here and actually we will assume that the transmitter is transmitting with a large number of antennas that is trans uh, that means the transmitter uh, transmits the signals um, through different multi part that is it is represented by 1 to x plus to n and uh, at the receiver side it will be receiving um, the signals from each of this multi part okay and here, the, here is the receiver side and it will be receiving signals from different paths. Here uh, there will be M path and it will be receiving um, the signals from M paths. Okay. And before making um, a decision on the received signal, actually what happens here is that there will be a signal to noise ratio monitor. That means um, the received signal to noise ratio the, from different multipath channels will be monitored here. And uh, based on that, uh, the signal having highest signal to noise ratio will be selected okay and that selection is um, based uh, that, that selection is done um, from different multipath channels and and that signal that is having highest signal to noise ratio will be decoded by the receiver okay so let us see branch having the highest instantaneous signal to noise ratio is connected to the demodulator and the antenna signals are sampled and the bus are sent to the signal demodulator. Actually, the sampling process is taking here. Actually, the signal to noise ratio is counted here. And the highest signal to noise ratio signal will be um, given to the demodulator at the receiver side. Okay. Actually, this G1, G2, etc. represents the gain of the channel. Okay. And after selecting the highest uh, signal to noise ratio signal from the multipath channel, and it will be given to the demodulator, so that signal alone will be demodulated and given to the um, output. Okay. So in the case of feedback or scanning diversity, actually um, this feedback or scanning diversity in this case, um, instead of using best of M signals, actually the M signal itself are scanned in a fixed sequence until one is found to be above a predefined threshold. So there will be a threshold level at the receiver side and we will be comparing this threshold with the received signal. Okay. And uh, the, there will be a scanning process for comparing this threshold level with the received signal. Okay. So that is why it is instead of using best of M signals, we are actually uh, having the M signals and that are scanned in a fixed sequence. 
So uh, first one is uh, scanned and it will be compared with this threshold level and the second antenna signal will be um, compared with this uh, threshold level and which one will um, be ha uh, having this strength which is above this threshold level will be selected and it will be demodulated. So the signal is then received until it falls below threshold and the scanning process is again initiated. Suppose the received signal, um, now we have received the signal from the first antenna and it is above the threshold then it will be demodulated. If uh, uh, at the next time if that signal is below that threshold level then um, uh, we have to initiate the scanning process again okay. So um, the decision is based on the uh, threshold level okay. So there will be a comparator actually there is a receiver side and the antenna will be receiving the signal and we, we have a preset a threshold value here actually this threshold value is obtained from a short time average value. And this threshold value is compared uh, with this uh, received signal antenna values. Okay, whenever it is above the threshold value, then that will be received and demodulated. Okay. Next is the maximal ratio combining, and actually this is a diversity uh, combining technique. Uh, so there is maximal ratio combining and equal gain combining technique. So maximal ratio combining actually this is the block diagram here. What is um, doing is that. This is a diversity combining technique and it has got the best result out of this um, out of this feedback or scanning diversity and the selection diversity okay. And here uh, the, uh, there will be different antennas M antennas and each of the signals will be weighted by a factor gamma 1, gamma 2, gamma M actually these all are not equal quantities. That means signals from M branches are weighted according to their signal to noise ratio. That means if the signal to noise ratio is less then it will be weighted high. If the signal to noise ratio is um, uh, very high then the uh, weight is less okay like that it will be uh, weighted according to their signal to noise ratio value and after that it will be the signals will be um, given to a phasing circuit in order to make its phase the same then it will be summed okay. So signals from M branches are weighted according to their signal to noise ratio and the signals are summed before the summing uh, that means here individual signals must be co-phased before adding or summing. So it requires an individual receiver and a phasing circuit for each antenna element. So for each antenna element it will requires for making it a same phase and for summing it requires a different demodulator circuit and similarly for second antenna and up to mth antenna it requires a different, different or individual receiver. After that it produces the output with an acceptable signal to ratio even when none of the individual signals themselves are acceptable. Suppose the signals received from these antennas are um, uh, having very lesser signal to noise ratio um, but by this method the signal received at the output will have a, an acceptable signal to noise ratio because here we are um, multiplying uh, the signal with a weighing factor that is why it is having a good signal to noise ratio at the, um, at the output side okay. So this is the way we are um, combining um, we are uh, this is the way we are achieving the diversity here okay. So uh, the multiple antennas is using and uh, multiple receiver should be needed and phasing circuit is needed and um, summing circuit is also needed. Uh, high, the signal having high uh, signal to noise ratio will be detected at the uh, demodulator or receiver side okay. So this is the way we are achieving uh, diversity here. And uh, next is equal gain combining it is also um, a diversity combining technique um, and here the name itself is equal gain and you know here um, gain is equal uh, for that here we are using here we are using different gain that is gamma 1, gamma 2 um, uh, the weighing factor is different and here we are uh, multiplying it with 1 unity. Here all the branch weights are unity so we will be getting the equal gain okay. Um, signals from each branches or antennas are co-phased by using a phasing circuit and uh, its performance actually this is a block diagram its performance is inferior to maximal ratio combining and superior to selection diversity and here the antenna will be receiving the signals um, and the signal to noise ratio measurement will be done on this antenna and it will be multiplied with the unity um, gain factor and here also we will be using a phasing circuit and after that the signals will be added um, and uh, signals uh, have high uh, signal to noise ratio will be demodulated okay. So this is equal gain combining and its performance is uh, inferior to maximal ratio combining. Maximal ratio combining is indicated by MRC okay, equal gain combining is EGC okay. Um, so this is the uh, for uh, space diversity techniques okay. 
that is with the help of a different number of antennas okay that's all about this topic thank you